tell me about cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery is huge. BBL, hair transplants, fillers, dermal fillers, Botox, and I think that's probably one of the biggest things with um, cosmetic surgery is just to be really clued up with the procedure. It's a, it's a huge procedure, essentially. So the same way that if you were gonna have, I don't know, your, your mum or dad was gonna have a knee replacement, you, you wanna know everything. You wanna know who the surgeon is, you wanna know how many surgeries they performed, you wanna know the risk, how long am I gonna be off, off work, what are the implications if something goes wrong, are you gonna fix it? These are all questions that need to be asked and people need to be aware of. Typically, what do you see in your surgery or suppose, in your experience? What kind of issues do you see with you know people perhaps going overseas um, for cosmetic surgery or maybe what risks are they kind of stepping into which maybe they don't understand at the time? Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing with going overseas for cosmetic surgery is I think some of some of the clinics abroad are really good don't get me wrong but there are some clinics that kind of advertise their surgery as like a built-in holiday and you're kind of sold on this idea of like oh I'm gonna go away to Turkey and it's gonna be hot and sunny and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have nice boobs I'm gonna have a flat belly and a big bum like it yeah you, you may well do but it's it's trying to look at what happens if something goes wrong and and being able to ask those questions being informed enough to ask those questions and making sure that the surgeon actually has a good understanding of English to be able to alleviate or allay some of the concerns that you may have. I know that some of um, of these cosmetic clinics, they sometimes have a representative that you actually meet and you don't meet the surgeon until the day and that would never happen here. In order to have, in order to sign a consent form in this country, on the NHS or in a private clinic or a good private clinic, the person who is consenting you for the procedure is the person that does the surgery. So they can explain to you, I'm going to be doing this. These are the risks, and this is what this is this is what this, this is what may happen as a result or as a consequence. So you actually feel better knowing, okay, this is a guy that's going to be operating me whilst I'm asleep, and. You know, you might feel better knowing that, but if you're just seeing a representative and you, you don't see the surgeon at all, it's, I, you know, it must be difficult to feel comfortable. But as I said, there are lots of really good clinics that work well, but it's just my experience of what I see in the clinic. So anybody considering, so I suppose, are there considerations when you would say, you know, cosmetic surgery should be done? Oh. Or is it always subjective? Yeah, I mean, look, I most most women and even men have insecurities. I've seen men that have had hair transplants. People people sometimes laugh at the fact that you know people have had this done, but it's a it's a huge insecurity for a lot of of men, and it's it's some insecure some women have insecurities too. So as I said, I'm definitely not against cosmetic surgery at all, but I just think you have to be clued up, and you really you really need to know what you're setting yourself up for. Um, yeah. What, 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 what considerations would you advise someone to take before undertaking or thinking about cosmetic surgery? Yeah, I think advice I would give is read about the procedure. Read forums, read good, and ba good reviews, bad reviews. It's all out there. Um, clinics in the UK are all licensed by the CQC, which is a Care Quality Commission. So they publish um, some guidance and they publish feedback that practices have had. So they'll have good needs improvement and that's a really good way to gauge how well that practice is doing. Speak to the surgeon, speak to other people that have had the procedure, read forums, look at pictures. I think the advice would be just to research, know the, know the surgeon, understand the risks, and just remember that you're not going to see pictures of people that haven't worked. You're going to see pictures of, of where it looks great. But so try not to get sucked into it. Just really know your research, understand that it's a big operation and financial implications. And I'm not just saying the procedure itself, which is costly, but the aftercare. You know, if you're going abroad, how, how long am I going to be abroad? I need to tell work. Am I going to get paid when I'm off work? The other thing is travel insurance. Is your travel insurance going to cover you if something goes wrong when you're abroad? Will, it, will, it, will they cover you? I don't know. 
So those are things to look out for or to make sure you know about. For more information, have a look at the link below. Um, and if you want to contact me, you can for more information. I can be found on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Clinic Diaries.